It's a real privilege to be here uh, tonight, and thank you, uh, Guy and others, for inviting me. Um, one of the beauties about the internet is that um, people can find out all sorts of different things about you. Um, and in fact, Guy had said, uh, say a bit about yourself before you, before you start talking, but given that Graham has done that for me, um, I think I'll probably skip over that um, relatively quickly. Um, my career, from my perspective, has been um, fairly kind of haphazard, unplanned, and serendipitous. But I think the two themes that have run through it, um, as Graham said, I start, started work actually in the political world. Um, one of the themes has been regulation. So um, I worked uh, for a long time in the media industry and now in the gambling industry, and both are characterized um, by a focus on regulation. Opportunity comes through regulation. And then the second piece as well, which Graham referenced, was technology. Um, I worked in the early days of cable and satellite TV. Um, I worked in digital music for a while in Silicon Valley. And now gambling, which is an industry that's really um, been turned on its head by technology. So I think um, those two elements, I think, have always been in my career, regulation and technology. Um, and they're very much at the forefront of, of uh, gambling, um, as I say. Um, I also just wanted to say um, a few words about Rank. Rank today um, consists of three companies. It's Grosvenor Casinos, which is the market leader in the UK, um, 56 casinos, casino in Cardiff here um, and in Swansea, um, Mecca Bingo, which is 86 bingo clubs um, up and down the country, four in Wales, and we have uh, a business in Spain called Enracha. Um, a bingo business and a couple of casinos in Belgium. Um, we're about a billion pound company in terms of market cap, just short of that. Um, about 750 million of annual revenue is about 130 million of profit um, and about 11,000 uh, employees. So those are the kind of vital statistics um, of, um, of, of, of uh, rank. Um, but I wanted to start on that first topic that I was talking about, is the kind of journey of uh, rank and what that tells us. Um, so to those of you in this room who are over the age of 45, um, the name rank will mean something to you. To those of you under, under that age, um, it may be a bit more hazy. Um, the company was founded in 1937 um, by J. Arthur Rank, uh, later Lord Rank, um, and he was the Methodist scion of um, a whole flour milling dynasty and also a World War I artillery officer on the Western Front. Um, Rank's initial film um, success was in film production, um, initially um, as a commercial enterprise to fund the production of Christian morality <laughs> movies, which unsurprisingly weren't big sellers in their own right. Um, <laughs> But uh, Rank became Britain's answer to Hollywood, developing Pinewood, Denham, and Ealing Studios, and giving a platform for stars such as Laurence Olivier, John Gielgud, and Alec Guinness, and Dirk Bogard. Um, and notable films included uh, Olivier's Hamlet, which also won the Best Picture Oscar in 1948. Um, uh, also Brief Encounter and uh, the Carry On films. Um, it also bought Odeon Cinemas um, and developed film laboratories. Um, and Michael Caine actually worked as an office boy for Rank, but was fired for smoking in the office. And the next time we encountered him was as um, Harry Palmer in the Ipcris Files. Um, but Rank's sphere of influence went further than that. It mor made morale-boosting films during the Second World War, with Olivier's Henry V being the most notable. Um, it filmed the 1948 uh, London Olympiad, um, and the Queen's coronation in 1952. Um, precision lenses um, manufa manufactured by Rank accompanied Hillary up uh, Everest, and the 1966 World Cup reception was held at uh, the Rank-owned Kensington Garden Hotel. And J. Arthur Rank's political connections went even further. He was friends with Churchill and played golf with, uh, with Eisenhower. Um, but Rank, by the early 1950s, had overstretched itself and had to start cutting back its operations. But then came its saving, uh, saving grace. Rank had a business manufacturing camera, camera lenses, as I said, um, and its managing director was a chap called Thomas Law. And Thomas Law happened to read an article in an obscure scientific journal about a company called Haloid, um, who had developed a technology um, to take photographs of documents and print them 
um, a process we now know as photocopying. Um, Halloid became Xerox, and through a joint venture, Rank Xerox was born, generating huge amounts of profits uh, for Rank, and as they sold down their share of Rank Xerox over the years, huge amounts of cash was generated. This um, cash was used to start new businesses um, and buy existing ones. This extended into manufacturing TVs, um, uh, developing record companies, and even at one time um, owning an airline. But the bulk of Xerox money was actually spent on a series of acquisitions in the leisure space, um, buying Butlins, Hard Rock Cafe, Haven Holidays, and even part of uh, the Universal Studios um, theme park. Um, it also saw the acquisition of, of Mecca Bingo um, and the development of Grosvenor Casinos as well. 